Mike Huckabee went on the radio to address the newest controversy about him uncovered by BuzzFeed. Mike, take it away. And, yeah. and they, they had to go back a ways uh, to do this. Uh, to when I believe you were in uh, you were in college for with the Rapture Express. Mm -hmm. It's a column that I wrote for the uh, Baptist Trumpet newspaper. It, it was actually even before I went to college. I was writing it when I was a senior in high school. I was 17 years old, and I wrote this weekly column to newspaper, and it was sort of an advice column uh, for teenagers who were believers. And so the whole term of rapture express is based on the very popular term in the 70s, a rap, meaning to converse. And, of course, rapture was something we were all talking about in the 70s. And, uh, so much to talk about the second coming. But anyway, I did this. And so BuzzFeed, I don't know how they got them. I'm not sure. I don't really care. But they found uh, a, sec a whole selection of the columns that I wrote in which I discussed things like uh, dating, dancing, smoke, I mean, all sorts of issues that would be relevant to a 1973 teenager, because that's when it was, 1973. I was 17. But the, anyway, a so controversial, public, the controversial yes. position you took about dancing. <laughs> well, it was basically that, uh, you know, it wasn't that I could say that it was prohibited, but I wasn't sure that it was good for a person's witness. Anyway, the, the funniest thing, I mean, I read this and I laughed out loud. I said, while other candidates are being outed for their teenage drug use, their teenage alcohol use, their teenage partying hard and uh, doing all sorts of destructive things like painting graffiti on bridges, the scandal with me is that I wrote a column at age 17 telling Christian young people to live a godly life. So, I mean, I just had to say, is this really controversial? I'd much rather defend this than I had to say, yes, I used to regularly be part of the Choom gang. I mean, <laughs> shut up. I just find that it's, it's amazing, but it shows, though, how contemptuous that the left really is toward believers. They truly yeah. do think that we are just uh, laughable for the beliefs we hold. And rather than that get me down and make me feel all depressed, I just kind of take it as, wow, if the worst thing they can say about us is that we truly believe that the Scripture teaches us to live a circumspect life. Okay, well, you got me. I'm plead guilty, and we'll find something else to be upset about. Well, I could think of worse things that you would have to defend in a, uh, a campaign that you were encouraging young people not to, not to exhale on the dance floor. Um. <laughs> it, it really was a shock. I, when I got this word from my staff, and they said, have you seen the latest that you've been hit with? And I thought... Oh my, what have I said now? Have I insulted somebody? Have I said something about some pop culture icon that I didn't remember? And then they told me it was about these columns, and frankly, I've almost forgotten about them. And I haven't even seen them myself in 42 years, 42 years ago. So when they show them to me, I'm thinking, number one, gosh, that's interesting, the things that I said. Number two, I was thinking, you know, some of them for a 17-year-old weren't that bad. Yep, that about says it all right there. Now, is this really a, a scandal? Like, everybody should be outraged and it should disqualify him from uh, attempting to run for president? No. I think there are 400 other things that he's done where you should disqualify him from running for president. So this isn't a scandal that we should get all outraged about, but it is telling. It is very telling. At age 17, Mike Huckabee was writing articles about how Dancing is immoral. Now, I present to you this very basic question. Which person would you rather have with power? The person who wrote an article about how dancing is immoral and just said he still thinks it's a good idea. That's what he said at the end there. I went back and read him and said, oh, it was pretty good. Or somebody who smoked weed. Well, look, I don't think either one of them <laughs> is a scandal. But I would prefer somebody who was drinking and smoking and even did graffiti or whatever over somebody who is writing articles in a Rapture magazine 
fundamentalist Christian much saying, oh yes, dancing is immoral and it's terrible and it's wrong and you shouldn't do it. Your, your genitals might touch her genitals for like a split second and then you might get a hard on and not know what to do with it. Just kidding, I'm not into girls. Where are the guys? Being unfair to Mike Huckabee. Actually, maybe, maybe not. We don't really know. But yeah, no, Mike, what you're showing is that there is a culture war and you guys are waging it. Because normal people, do it at age 17, what were you doing at 17? I don't know I don't know what you guys were doing, but I know what I was doing. I was getting hand jobs behind dumpsters at Arby's. I mean, this is what you do when you're 17 years old. When you're 17 years old, you go out and you drink and you have fun and you, you know, you live fast. And most people, as they get older, they grow out of it. And, you know, as time goes by, when you hit your mid-20s and then later on 30s or whatever, it's like, okay, that was in the past, but it was fun while it lasted. That's, that's a common experience. But Mike Huckabee's like, no, from day one, I've been repressed. Man is dancing so bad, it really tears apart the moral fiber of the nation. Anyway, let's talk about how I'm pro the Iraq war now. So dancing bad, Iraq war good. And tell me whose moral compass is fucked up. And I love when he's like, well, the left is so contemptuous of of our religious beliefs and God, they're so wrong for that. Well, no, no, no. We are contemptuous of bad ideas. And he says, they just think our faith is laughable. Yep. Yep. Your faith is laughable because especially the way you interpret it and how fundamentalist you are, it's a bad idea to believe it. The fact that you don't believe in evolution, that's a bad idea. That's a laughable idea. Because you're choosing to embrace your own ignorance. You would rather live looking at uh, the shadows on the wall in your cave, then walk outside of the cave. To go back to Plato's allegory of the cave here. Uh, you embrace those shadows. You, you know deep down that this can't be real, your silly little primitive belief system, but you choose to embrace that over walking outside and looking at uh, real life. 